Hi everybody, it's me Julia here um, and today I've got a wee Christmas craft that I'd like to show, you, to show you how to make. It's really easy and it makes a great festive decoration and it's easy for all the family to do. So without further ado, here he is, my wee sock snowman. Um, so yes, this is a wee um, snowman made out of socks, buttons, rice and a few bits of fabric. It's really easy. So first of all, I'll show you what you need. Um, oops, you guessed it. You need a sock. Um, you can use adult socks or children's socks. You can see that this is a giant sock, um, but a white sports sock seems to be the best. Um, so you need a sock, a clean one preferably. These are brand new and I would recommend you use <laughs> Clean socks. You need some string, you need scissors, you need some buttons, any buttons just from that you've got lying about the house. You need some rice, any kind of rice, um, I'll do just a cheap bag of rice um, and you can reuse it again if you, once you've finished with your decoration. Um, and you need some fabric or wool or anything that you've got lying about that you might want to um, use and some glue, just some normal PVA glue. So first of all, what you need to do is cut your sock. So what you need to do is just cut the toe bit. Okay, so we keep, we keep both bits, but first things first, if you cut the toe bit off, and we'll put that away for later, because we've all used that, and then you need to get your string, and the bit that you've just cut, we need to tie a tight knot around it, because this is going to be the bottom of your snowman. So just tie a good tight knot, and if you need a grown-up, Get a grown up to help. Okay, oh, I think that's tight enough. And then we turn it inside out. Or you could do it the other way if you wanted this to be the outside of your snowman. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then we've got the bottom, and no rice can get through. Now, what I've done is I've got an old um, jug, and just to make it a wee bit easier, you can put your sock around the edge and you can either use a spoon or you can pour it in like me. So we're just going to fill it up. You might need to push it down a wee bit but keep filling and pushing and filling depending on how big you're wanting your snowman to be or how fat you're wanting it to be. I think I'll add a wee bit more. A wee bit more. I think we're going for a right fat one, like frosty. <coughs> right, I think that'll do it. Then you take it out and you tie a knot in the top. And remember to tie it really, really tight so that none of the rice can fall out. Okay. So there you go, give it a bit of a jiggle about, a wee roll about, and then just find out where you're wanting to place the head. So I think this looks good enough round about there. And then we get another bit of string, our last bit of string, and we really tie it tight. So see it's making the head and the body shape separate from each other. Don't worry if you've got wee straggly bits of string, you can cut them off. Okay. I think that looks good, so I'm just going to trim these bits of string and the wee neck bits as well. There! Now, remember I told you about this bit? If you roll this up like that, that becomes a snowman's hat. How cute is that? And if you wanted to make it a wee bit weir, you can do that as well. Um, but I just rolled it up as much as I needed to. So then we're going to put on the eyes. Where's my googly eyes? Oh, they've disappeared. That's a surprise. Look where I found my googly eyes. They were stuck to my dress, eh, to my top. So we'll put the googly eyes on. I didn't mean for them to be stuck there. Oh, 
we'll stick another one if you don't have googly eyes you can use um you can use buttons if you want it's just that i had some googly eyes lying about the house and it's always good to use googly eyes for things um next we're going to do the wee scarf so i've just got nice bit of coloured lots of different coloured bits of wool for this one i just used an old bit of fabric that i didn't need anymore so we're just going to wrap this round oh i think i'm maybe going to go a little bit not to worry plenty more where that came from so it's like a nice coloured scarf oh that looks cozy mr snowman are you cozy oh, there we go so he's got his bra scarf on and I thought this wheel here was quite good because it's quite chunky. If you don't have wheel you could just draw an orange carrot for the nose but I just thought I'd get a wee bit of wheel, dip it in some glue and stick it on for the nose. There's his nose and then finally you might want to lie it down at this bit you're going to stick the buttons on. So I think we'll give him a big, big brown button this time. So just get a bit of glue, stick it on his belly and I think we'll go for a wee black one as well. Stick it there. And there you go. How easy is that? That is how you can make your own Christmas ornaments of sock snowman, sock snowmen. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Don't forget to share your sock snowman pictures on the page. We'd love to see them. Merry Christmas and a happy new year from all at Five Libraries. Bye!